what are some of the benefits of reishi and cordyceps when it comes to uh, inflammation in the body and how does that impact upon uh, our longevity and performance? Well, one, the deadly quartet is, is a very, very fascinating term. And I first found it in the archives of internal medicine in 1989. And that was the title of the article. And they said, if you had a big belly, uh, high blood pressure, high blood fat, whether it was cholesterol, triglycerides, high blood sugar, you were going to die early. You know, and I read that and I thought, well, that's probably true, but none of those are really the deciding factor. It's really stress, toxins, malnutrition, physical inactivity that are killing people. Uh, and so then you look, what happens when they're stressed or toxic or malnourished or physically inactive? Well, guess what? They get inflamed. And, and 2021, a huge study said that they believe that those four factors, and they, they spelled them out a little differently, but it, it's easy to read between the lines, collectively are responsible for 84% of every sick care dollar spent in the entire world and they are directly linked to every serious chronic issue that is absolutely debilitating to people that medicine doesn't have an answer for. So, you know, if you're watching our screen, we come to realize that reishi is a positive immune modulator by more than a dozen different mechanisms. Now, I want to use in the word modulator because we need a little inflammation. We need a little inflammation to prime repair, to clean out the debris, to start the healing process. No inflammation, no healing process. And here's what we know, people that take corticosteroids, they slow the healing. Uh, they suppress the immune system and ultimately they can end up with a bigger problem than they started with. But all the medicinal mushrooms have some benefit in terms of anti-inflammation. Our favorites, I, I might go with the big three and I think we only have slides on the two. Reishi is the king cordyceps that could well be the queen. And then we go with lion's mane, which has so many different benefits, in, including focus. But I'll tell a couple of cordyceps stories. So Ireland, you know, I, before I met you, but uh, Pete Cohen introduced me to a guy named, named Stephen McEwen, who was committed to running 100 marathons in 100 days to raise money for autism. Uh, when I did the consult with Stevie, yeah, he was rock solid. He was doing a lot of things right. I said, look, I want you to try this. I want to see if this steps up your game. And we used a combination of reishi and cordyceps in a red tea that I recommend that he put that in his camelback and, and drink that along his race. Well, Eric, what happened was mind boggling. In those hundred races, he got faster every single race to the point where his 99th race was the fastest. And I remember asking him, I said, Stevie, why wasn't the hundredth the fastest? He says, well, I was shaking too many hands, but he could have beat that time then and there as well. Uh, and Elia Kipchoge, you know, out of Kenya, ran the first sub two hour marathon. Now, a lot of the world is not considering that official because he did it on a perfect day and he had pace setters and other things. But I, I, I'll take the haters and I'll say, you do it. You go ahead and repeat that. You run 26.2 miles uh, in less than two hours. And he drank our red tea throughout training and throughout his event. Now, Elliot's a smart businessman. He does paid endorsements. We don't offer paid endorsements. Ours is good enough to sell on its own. Uh, so, you know, we didn't get an endorsement from Elliot, but here's a fact. He took it uh, and, and likely still does. So how beautiful is that? So these things are so powerful at modulating the inflammatory process, accelerating the healing, optimizing the energy uh, and more things than we can even mention if we had 10 hours to talk about it. It's beyond amazing. 